Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. So we're at the Rose Bowl. Hello, succulents. No, I did not only vote black. This is how you stay humble. So I love succulents. I um, think they just grow so beautifully. They grow so effortlessly. And uh, you know, they're kind of like me. Just keep on growing. These are one of my favorites. So cute. I can have a whole house full of succulents. They get so big and they actually really grow. Look at that boy. That baby is big. This is my first time at the Rose Bowl and I'm actually really excited because I love thrifting. I grew up thrifting. My mom is a person that loves secondhand and finding unique finds. And so the Rose Bowl is supposed to be all of that and more. And Baby has come before. This is my first time and she's told me so much about it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what cool things I could find and bargaining and trying to get a deal because I love a deal. So I'm excited. This is really cute. But how I would want to wear it, baby wouldn't let me. My baby, uh, she just loves me. She really does. And I love the heck out of her. We are both very overprotective of each other. And I love that she's overprotective of me. Like, I think that is so sweet. Sometimes it can be in the wrong areas, though, okay? Um, she is just overprotective of what people see of me. And... She don't like for me to show a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of skin. And it's understandable, you know, um, but I am very free. I can do what I want, but I try to respect her wishes as much as I can. I love how Zakia dresses. I love that she wears what she wants, which is she likes to show skin. I love that because I think that there's a certain confidence that comes with that. But I don't like it when she wants to, like for example, just have a, no shirt on with nipple covers on. She be like, hey babe, I'm gonna wear this. No. Or like, just certain things that I feel like should just be specifically for me. And um, yeah, so that's what I like. And we just gotta meet in the middle. You wanna move over there? Come on. Um, you know what? I actually prefer shopping in um like secondhand stores or vintage stores only because um you really find unique pieces that you don't you won't find at like uh H and M and I shop there too but you know, when it comes to vintage shopping and if you want to really like custom your own style, what better way to do it than go to a place where you can kind of get like unlimited one-offs of pieces and accessories and stuff that you can't find anywhere, but that you can also be like, that's me right there, you know? And it's not what's given to me, it's what I chose. You know, when you walk into a shopping mall, you go to a store, I mean, they're basically telling you what is in and you need to pick from here. But when you go to like a thrift store, it's like, this is what we got and if you see anything that you like. All black everything. It's only right. Yeah, it's on the back. Spending money. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that's interesting. It's I think it's all about balance. I um, necessarily don't have a preference. I think that it's for what you're looking for, you know? Shopping and secondhand or vintage is for when you're looking for like, you know, those unique items or um, you want, 
you're you know really thinking eco-friendly and about how your impact can you know help the world you know so it really depends on what you're looking for sometimes it's nice to go and find something that is new has never been touched you know um, or things that are on trend right now currently just new fashion finds I, I like that too so it really just depends on what my, my vibe is I have a mixture of all I grew up thrifting and um, shopping secondhand and it was always fun going to find things that were for 50 cents or whatever so it really just depends on what I'm looking for one thing about it when you come to the Rose Bowl you need to be prepared to not be dressed cute or be able to get down there and this is not the right outfit for it period okay cuz I want to be if I'm gonna look I don't want to feel like I'm about to get bugs on me in my cute clothes you know what I mean cuz all this shit dirty okay I don't like bugs I've always been a girly girl even when I had like my tomboy phase I was still a girly girl I don't like bugs I don't like things crawling on me and if I um I'm okay with getting like dirty getting my hands dirty you know I've done all types of weird things but I immediately need to get that dirt off like I need I start to feel like things are crawling on me and I have to get it off immediately so digging through like all these different things at the Rose Bowl I'm cool with it but like I need to be like in my right clothes ready to go you know and then I need to get home and take a shower when you are shopping at the flea market you have to be accustomed to what you this is just what they're going to be given to you you know which is you gonna get the funky smell and not funky in a smelly way but just like in an old way like a lot of these clothes are gonna smell like they've been in grandma's closet for a very long time and um, you just want to wash it because when you go there you're gonna be picking up shirts that's on the ground now it's not gonna be directly on the cement it's gonna be blanketed under but still it's like shirts that a million people before and after you are just going to pick up and drop and move on you know and they really because of the quantity of how they sell things they are not taking these clothes to the to the cleaners at all so you know you got to take good care of it and you know put it in the washing machine as soon as you get home just to make sure ain't no dust bugs or anything like that are in it but other than that you know got you a dope piece you know it's the end of the day. PQ. They don't have socks. Get a little sweet blessing like this.